And welcome to another wonderful edition of All Things Napa, August 2017. It's August already. Would you believe that? I know. We're I'm Desi Kapaz, and this is Lee Miller. I'm Lee way. Miller. And we're pretty excited today because yeah. we always have great guests, but mm -hmm. we also have the mayor. Mayor yeah. Jill is yeah. going to be joining us today. That's right. And we also have James Callejas. Mm -hmm. What do you know about 1031 exchanges? We're going to tell you about them yeah. today. That's You're going to know sure. a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our business spotlight, right. Laura Gomez, esthetician, and you want to do Karen? Karen Mansfield, Karen Mansfield. for our <laughs> mortgage spotlight. <laughs> She's with Cross Country uh, Mortgage. So it's going to be fun. Uh, we're in the, gosh, we're almost, uh, not at the end of the summer, I would say, but yeah. we're getting close. But a lot of hot days, and it's it's been fun, but um, this is going to be a great show today, and uh Heck, what's we, next? We appreciate you being here and tuning in. Let's get the show started. That's right. All right. I'm excited to introduce our very first yep. business spotlight for today. That is Laura Gomez, Hello. esthetician. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank good. you Thanks for inviting for, me uh, to your Absolutely. Show. We're glad to have you. So I already know the answer to this question, and I'm thrilled to say that I do because I am also a client of Laura's. Oh. That's right. Um, he but, gets facials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, tell us a little <laughs> bit about what it's like to be an esthetician, why you're passionate about it. Um, I, what, like, literally, it's making people feel good. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's, um, you know, when they walk into your office and they're, like, you know, feeling down, I have this acne or I have this scar or I have sun damage, and I really just want to be able to get it all away, and it's really helping them get that under control and making them feel good about themselves is uh, that's what I live for. And the products that you use, because that was something that resonated with me. Well, it, skin is just super important to me. like that Wimeline products, right? Oh, um, no, it's his favorite. It's his favorite. He <laughs> loves that I use organic products. Okay. It's the everything. organic part. Oh, it's yeah, the organic, it's the organic right? part. <laughs> he likes to smell good. That's what it is. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's true, too. Um, it's. I, I believe in you don't put anything on your face that you can't eat. Right. And um, everything that I put is organic. Okay. And I'm recently working on um, doing holistic facials. So every all my facials are going to be done in the kitchen right before they go onto your face, not from a bottle or anything oh, nice. that's been sitting in your cabinet for a month. So I'm really excited about that, too. I mean, it sounds, it's, it sounds good. I mean, I'm almost like relaxed listening to you. I'm ready for that facial. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the, and the thing is, I, I've never had a facial before, yeah. but, you know, she's in Napa Business Advantage. She's in our referral group, and we're loyal to our referral That's group. Right. And so we do business with one another, and so I said, oh, I'll give this a try. So how long have you been in the business? Uh, two years now, two years and a half. And you're located on California Boulevard? Yes, California and Lincoln, um, inside the Ultimate Looks Salon. Okay. And um, my business is called Poetic Beauty. Okay. And uh, poetic because it's there's so much to there's so much to mm -hmm. the beauty that mm -hmm. you know it's it's truly it just it's something that's so poetic. I and know you just crazy. reminded it me of something. Uh, when you were searching for that word, <laughs> your eyebrows and you do eyebrows. Oh, I do. And that's, yeah. a, that's like, that's an art. And makeup artist. Yeah. Yes, that is true. Um, well, skincare is also really important when it comes to, with makeup because if mm -hmm. your skin's not looking A1, then your makeup's not mm -hmm. looking on point either. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, brows, I do, I brow map. So every time I do a service, whether you're my returning client or not, I brow map your face. And mm -hmm. depending on the structures and the muscles, your brow is always mm -hmm. symmetry and it's good. Well, Laura, thanks for joining us today. Thank I appreciate you. it. Yeah, and please, if you're not feeling that great of and ha not having that best of a day, uh, please go see Laura Gomez. It's she a will pick me up for sure. She, she will yeah. pick you up, and there's her number on the screen: nine two five two six five three three zero three, and there's her email address. So please get in touch. Thank you, Laura, for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you. So coming on next is uh, we have our first interview. Um, it's a you know it's a surprise. It's it's James. James Callejas. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's with um, IPX to, uh, 1031 Exchange, and he's on next. 
And yeah. now we are here with James Callejas. Yes. Talking about 1031 exchanges. So we are a real estate show, at least a focus on that anyway. We do. We do. We're realtors. But you know, there's a lot of people that don't know what a 1031 exchange is, why they would use it. So enlighten us, please. I'd be happy to. All right. So it's real simple. A 1031 exchange is only for investment property. So imagine this. We buy a piece of property in Napa 20, 30, maybe even 10 years ago for $100,000, $200,000. Well, today that same property is worth $500,000, $600,000, dollars $800,000. And if we just sell that property and take the money, we're going to pay a lot of taxes. There's state tax, there's federal tax, there's health care contribution, there's depreciation recapture. The 1031 exchange is the tool in real estate that allows you to sell investment property. Instead of taking that money and paying taxes, you are allowed to invest in other pieces of investment property. As long as you use all the money, buy a vehicle or greater value, you're in a position to pay absolutely zero in capital gains tax. So essentially, it's a tool to sell and buy investment real estate without paying any capital gains tax. Wonderful. So it shelters that money, you right. know, basically. And then if they did want to sell the replacement property, they have to hold it for at least two years, is that correct? Well, they could sell it at any time they want, but if mm. they sell, they're going to pay taxes. Well, mm. but now they're a, a new basis, though, correct? Basis does not change. So if we mm. bought this property originally for 100 mm. sold it for 600 bought something for 600 mm. the basis is still 100 It will go with you mm -hmm. until you die. And okay. the beautiful thing about dying in real estate is this 100 basis goes to current value, and then the beneficiary, the children, could get that property, sell it, and there is no gain. Okay. Well, the meat and potatoes of this is that we, you know, in government, they're trying to take this away, all right? Uh, trying to, I guess, tax reform is part of tax reform. You're trying to fight it. You're trying to lobby for to keep this because this is a very important piece of real estate for real estate industry. Uh, tell us a little bit about your adventure and, and what you're doing with Washington. And the consequences if Washington is successful in taking it away. Well, here's the reason why they consider taking away the 1031 exchange. They said, we get rid of the 1031 exchange, it's going to create $80 billion of tax revenue within the next five years. Here's the problem. They didn't take behavior into consideration. You get rid of the 1031 exchange, people don't sell. Because mm -hmm. if they were to sell, they'd have to pay tax. It's not going to generate those dollars. So we mm -hmm. did an actual study, taking behavior into consideration. And what it actually will do is impact our GDP negatively $8 billion per year. Sure. So many different jobs, so much activity. Sure. Real estate will be in a stagnant. Mm -hmm. It won't move. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've gone out there, and this is what's really interesting, is that most congressmen have no clue what it is. Mm -hmm. Here's what we've heard. Do people really do this? Doesn't this only benefit the rich? Mm -hmm. This is going to generate all kinds of tax revenue. The mm -hmm. reality is what they proposed proposed will not generate tax revenue. Mm -hmm. It'll actually hurt the economy, and it'll stagnate real estate. It is not good, and we're trying to prevent it. Can that. you enlighten us on what they're trying to propose, though? They're trying to propose immediate expensing. They're trying to propose lowering capital gain rates, getting rid of all the write-offs that you have for investment property and a border adjustment tax to make up that money. What I mean by that is immediate mm -hmm. expensing is the depreciation write-off that we have. Right. For residential property, 27 and a half years, you can write yeah. it off commercial, 39 years. Mm -hmm. They're saying you can write off the entire property year one meaning I'm not going to probably pay taxes for a little while. But when I eventually sell that property, what they don't mention is the depreciation recapture. They're going to recapture 25% of that mm -hmm. and the state tax, meaning if I sell that property, right. I'm probably not going to even be able yeah. to afford paying the taxes. Mm -hmm. The appreciation won't mm -hmm. even cover that. Okay. So what does that mean? I won't be able to sell. Mm -hmm. If we don't sell real estate, what happens to our business? Right. Yeah, sure. And all of the affiliated mm -hmm. businesses, the title right. companies. And they really said, good. well, we're going to make up the money another way. We'll have the border adjustment tax make up the yeah. money so that people will have these write-offs, but it'll come in this other way. Well, that means that Target, that mm -hmm. Walmart, that these large corporations that outsource, they're going to tax them when they come back mm -hmm. in. How do you feel, or how do you think Walmart and Target mm -hmm. felt about that proposal? <laughs> Let's just say it ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> so everything that they proposed, and there's so much more to it, there's a lot of different holes. They yeah. didn't really understand what they're proposing, and changing the current tax codes mm -hmm. to what they proposed make no sense. Not for real estate, at least. Right. right. With the little bit of time that we have left, um, 
what are some of the other key points that you think are important that the, well, I think our viewers the main point know? that we haven't even begun to illustrate is the real reason why people do 1031 exchanges. We've defined what it is, investment property to investment property, but most people think the 1031 exchange is about not paying the tax. Mm -hmm. And it's real simple. If I don't want to pay the tax, I won't sell my property. So why do people do 1031 exchanges? And the answer is to get a better piece of investment property. Mm -hmm. And that can be for a variety mm -hmm. of different reasons. I could sell my single family home that I've mm -hmm. rented mm -hmm. and maybe buy a four unit building, mm -hmm. maybe buy an office building, maybe go buy some sort of commercial building that's triple net lease, meaning mm -hmm. I absolutely do nothing but get paid each month. I've had so many clients in Napa that sell their residential property and go buy a Walgreens. Mm -hmm. They don't buy the business of the Walgreens, they buy the office that Walgreens is leasing, and now they get cash on cash return on the equity that they bring in, and they do absolutely nothing. What mm -hmm. I mean by nothing, no property taxes, no insurance, no tenant improvements, no maintenance whatsoever. They just get a check each month. The tenant mm -hmm. takes care of everything else. So the real reason why a person does a 1031 mm -hmm. exchange is that property that they're selling mm -hmm. is outlived its usefulness to them. What can they buy? So many different things in any state in the United States. And I've had many people that sell an investment property, go buy a Hawaii property, rent it out for a couple of years, and then go retire in that sure, property. Sure. So I'm going to ask sure. you, what don't you like about this property yeah. and what do you eventually want? Because we can make this magic happen with the 1031 code. Right. Well, and the most important part too is is that let's let's tell people about how what they can do. Can they call your office? Can they write you an email? Can they write their congressman an email? I mean, what can they do to help you in this fight? Because obviously, you made it very important. It's very important for real estate that the 1031 stays. Um, what can they do? There's three things that they can do. Number one, you guys can always call me at 415-640-0794, or you can always email me at james, J-A-M-E-S, dot callejas, C-A-L-L-E-J-A-S, at ipx1031.com. And I will have that up for them, too. Yeah. Or go to the website. And this is the one, if you really want to do the call to action, make sure the code stays intact. Go to ipx1031.com, click on the tax reform button, put your name and zip code, and letters will go out to your local congressman to make sure it stays just the way that it is. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's a really good piece of information. I think everybody needs to stay on board because really this will stalemate uh, real estate. And, uh, and that, that's a huge chunk of the economy. It so, is. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine right now. But if we have something that's going to stagnate the, company, uh, the economy that much, yeah. that could be very problematic. James, well, thank you very much for being... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, point. it wasn't thought out, thought out properly. Yeah. And when things are thought out properly, we support. When there's holes, we got to make people aware. That's right. why I think we're here today. Right. Thank you so much for being right. on the show. I really do. And we're going to put this contact info up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So James's info is right up there. He is... Uh, his number here is 415-640-0794, and then you see his email address uh, there. So please write him, uh, let him know, uh, go on the website, call to action, uh, very important stuff. Uh, James, again, thank you for being here with us. My pleasure. I, it was a pleasure having you on the show, it really is. All right, so next, uh, coming up is, uh, well, this guy right here. It's Mr. Lee Miller. Real He's Estate Minute. Real Estate Minute. It's always fun and, and exciting, so stay tuned. Lee Miller here with your Real Estate Minute. Today, we're going to talk about integrity, because it's everything. I don't want to just build my business as a realtor. I want to build a legacy. That's how important integrity is to me. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. So whether or not I'm addressing the real estate community, those in our profession, or whether I'm addressing the would-be clients, be careful, do your due diligence, learn about that realtor, and make sure that you're choosing one that has integrity. Because at the end of the day, that's all we have. And I want to be remembered as a man of integrity. And I'm proud to say that I am. Do your homework. Lee Miller with the Real Estate Minute. Real estate for real people. All right, that was a wonderful real estate minute. I integrity, absolutely. Right? That's what it's all about. That's right. That's all we got in real estate. <laughs> okay, so we have a very special guest next. Um, her name is Jill Teschel. You may know her. She's our mayor of Napa. So we have a few questions for her. Thank you, Jill. Okay, I'm right, glad to be here. On. And Mayor Jill works for me. Mayor so. Jill. Yeah. Okay. Kind of informal. Not yeah. <laughs> dumb air. Not dumb air. There's dumb. somebody else that goes right. by dumb air. Dumb. So we we partner. 
<laughs> we have our own our own yeah, yeah. little signatures. So yeah. How neat. Very yeah. Nice. Well, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Um, so, you know, just a couple of uh, questions here we want to ask about real estate and, and of course, because of us being realtors, but, um, you know, what, it, what you know, the state of California is going through its, uh, b believe it or not, I mean, there's a <laughs> lot of renters out there right now, ton of renters, right. and, uh, but, but there's willing buyers, but there's just not enough affordable housing. That's the, that's the problem. And, and, or you know, housing, in, in general, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I guess my question would be is that, you know, what is Napa doing to, to focus on, a, you know, supplying, putting more supply of housing out there for us? Yeah. You know, it's interesting. We do surveys with the locals and we've been doing them for years. We do them in January and sort of say, what are the issues that you think the community is facing mm -hmm. that we should be working on? Right. And normally they would do transportation or roads. And the past two years, there's been a change and number one is housing. So that's that's good. The community understands mm -hmm. the need for housing so they've been um, helpful in us mm -hmm. as we move forward with housing options. Uh, I think we, I asked the planning director how many units did we approve last year of housing and it was like 674 units of new housing was approved by the city council. Of that number, 83 of them will be apartments or rentals. So mm -hmm. we are um, gearing up, and you don't usually get uh, you usually get a couple hundred. If you build an apartment complex, sure. it usually comes in a, a couple hundred in order mm -hmm. to make it pencil out. So a lot of units coming online, not necessarily affordable, but mm -hmm. when people move up to those units, it'll free up other units. So having sure. more units um, available generally helps uh, reduce prices in the, the ones that they've been living in. Mm -hmm. So we're hopeful those aren't built yet. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking at um, ways that people can take advantage of a uh, room they have in their home. Mm -hmm. um, there's some um, talk about making them into uh, mini second right. units, junior right. units. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got um, fee reductions from sanitation mm -hmm. and city water so that it will pencil out for people to do that. So if you've got an extra room in your house, you'll be able to rent it out. Again, no, not vacation rentals. This right. is for workforce. Right. No, right. um, and mm -hmm. if you get these, these special rules and mm -hmm. fee reductions, um, it comes with that carrot that you caveat mm -hmm. that you need to be sure that you're running mm -hmm. to people that are part of the workforce. Mm -hmm. I first heard about what you just described, this, the second units within yeah. the home. We had Supervisor Ryan Gregory at, mm -hmm. at the MLS meeting and he talked about that and people were so excited. Some of them left that meeting and they went straight downtown to find out and nobody in downtown knew about it because it would it was so new. Right, mm -hmm. right. So we're, we have we're to just wait going through it, the, yeah. the process, but we've, we've, we've set it in motion. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and Sacramento's um, trying to be flexible too with rules and regulations. Right. So it's making it easier to get things built. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm waiting for the city planners to know all the new rules so I can go down and ask my questions about my property. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I was denied six months ago, but that might change now. Right. And so. And the, the new re, um, reduction in sanitation fees is yeah. really new. I don't yeah. even think that officially um, is, is in place until September. But, oh, okay. but we've done, I said on the sanitation board, so oh, okay. we've, we've made the approvals, it's all moving right. forward. So yeah, that, that I think that, that, cause that's a big fee, that was like $9,000, mm -hmm. which right. really, some people were going, you know, I wanna do this, it makes sense, but right. that's, a, that's a large fee to add on right. to my project. So right. trying to do a mix of mm -hmm. working with the private industry to put in more housing and mm -hmm. trying to create some options for homeowners so that they can, if they want to, find mm -hmm. ways to use their extra room for mm -hmm. um, well, so income it, and it house someone that needs Yeah, it. it is good. I mean, it's the, the growth, uh, the population growth here is actually growing faster at a faster rate than our home housing. And, and so any little ways to, to help it, especially the ADU units, uh, you know, that, that'll be good. Yeah. That'll be good. And um, you'd like some for sale too, huh? Sure, yeah. that'll yeah. help. <laughs> that well, would you help. said it. Yeah. We were about to. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the city doing as far as uh, parks and recreation? You were telling me something about oh, the parks. Oh, yeah, I was just out at Kennedy right. Park this week and we put in pavilions. So mm -hmm. rather than having just go to an open space and be with a picnic table when it's hot, mm -hmm. we've got these great pavilions with picnic tables under uh -huh. them. So 
One, you can be more comfortable. You've got shade where, mm -hmm. you know, you got to be smart about the sun. Oh, yeah. um, next to the playground equipment. Um, and when I was out there the other day, there was a day camp. So just oh, great nice. fun to see the energy sure. and to realize there are programs all around town mm -hmm. to take care of, of locals and provide recreation mm -hmm. um, for those that live in the community. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud about the 4th of July. You know, the parade was lots That's of great. fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we do activities and now we've mm -hmm. got the uh, Oxbow Bypass mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. Um, so we can really put a lot of activities yeah. mm -hmm. in there. There was a lot of people in there. I, I spent the day down there and listening to the bands mm -hmm. and Surf and James, mm -hmm. who are going to be on our show in right. next month or the uh, month right. after. And it's how you find your guests. You yeah. hang out at <laughs> yeah, yeah, you hang out at fun <laughs> venues. You and, do? Yeah. Well, it, you know, especially when it falls like on a Tuesday mm -hmm. in the week, right, right. and it, locals need a place to go. Sure. And so a lot of the programs we put on mm -hmm. are like, you're here, mm -hmm. we want to be sure that you have a great Fourth of July and not feel like, oh, because you can't go to the mm -hmm. beach or the mountains, you're sure. not going to have something fun to right. do. So we, mm -hmm. we try and do that and provide opportunities. For, for our locals. And, you know, mm -hmm. there's uh, music uh, mm -hmm. downtown on Friday nights. That's right. You know, in, in the That's Veterans Park. Fun. And we're going to start to do some music on Thursday nights and in the Oxbow. Oh. And that's that's for the locals to get together, get sure. to see each right. other and reconnect. So that's fun. Well, and also a little side note, right? I mean, if you and if you want to help as a community, you can volunteer and maybe sponsor a park, right? And go out and maybe, you know, pick up some trash, things like that. Keep it nice and beautified, right? Yeah. And and so we can keep our community nice. It is great. We have a local businessman, Michael Holcomb, who has kind of taken on downtown, yeah. mm -hmm. and he goes out with his little wow. clipper, gripper little, thing. Little, little, oh, yeah. yeah, and he, he bought a hundred of them <laughs> oh, and no gave them to uh, <laughs> local folks and city council members, and so it's kind of a reminder of all, for all of us. Yeah. You know, we all need to... Sure see that and pick it up and, and, mm -hmm. and keep Napa great. And one that's of the right. cute things that happened a week or so ago, um, organically, and that's what I love about Napa, was uh, decorated rocks on downtown. Uh -huh. yeah. And kids could go downtown and you'd find them and then you could go to the web page and say, oh. look what I found. And that that's amazing. what make it, you're yeah. not looking for somebody else to create something mm -hmm. special. Um, and we also have the kindness movement that's come from the Finkelstein girls oh, that are yeah, saying, right. let's think yeah, about yeah. what we can do to be kinder to each other. So, mm -hmm. you know, when somebody asks me about Napa, they go, oh, it's beautiful and mm -hmm. it's gorgeous and you have the wine. And I say, yeah, and I've got the people yeah. that care <laughs> and make it's a difference. More. Sometimes it's just a little bit more than just wine, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. it is. Yeah, right. it's great. A, gr a great community. People yeah. that are problem solvers mm -hmm. and go out and try and figure out how to make it a better place. Yeah, definitely. Well, wow, that was the fastest nine minutes I think we've ever had. I know, and I want to go on and on and on. I, I can just talk with you. We'll, just, we'll have to have you on more. Uh, I, 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 yeah, as long as you can fit me in between flight control and city council. We'll have <laughs> right. on Tuesdays, right. but we can do it. We can do it. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank definitely. you very much. Anytime. Thank yeah. you, That's an Jill. Honor. Thank All you. right. Is. We will be right back with Karen Mansfield from Cross Country Mortgage, our mortgage spotlight. That was a great interview with Jill. Yeah. I mean, that was fantastic. I, I feel very honored to have yes. her honor. The mayor, right? <laughs> oh, not the mayor. It's Mayor Jill. Mayor Mitchell. Jill. Mayor Jill. That's what she prefers. Mayor well, Jill. next, we have another special guest, and she is part of our mortgage spotlight. Her name is Karen Mansfield from uh, Cross Country Mortgage. How are you doing, Karen? I'm doing great. Thanks How for are coming you doing, on. Desi? Yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. Good. You know? um, so, you know, tell us a little bit about what you do. And, and we know that you lend money, but do you have any special programs out there to tell us about? I do have some special programs, but I'd love to start with just a little bit about me. Sure. Uh, my name's Karen Mansfield. I'm with Cross Country Mortgage. I've been in the mortgage business for the last 16 years, and I offer service in English y Espanol, so Spanish and English. I can help with can you, your... We need translation on the bottom of our screen now <laughs> on that window. Yes. <laughs> well, if you've, if you've been to fifth grade Spanish, you might be okay with right, that. Right. <laughs> um, so anyway, a little bit about some of the programs that mm -hmm. we offer. Um, we do offer uh, the whole uh, span of conventional mortgages, uh, government, FHA, VA mortgages, as well as programs for first-time homebuyers with little to no down. I'm really good at those. 
And um, we also have a very special program within our company. A lot of lenders are talking about 21 day closes to help their buyers get an accepted offer. We actually have a process, an established process in place for a 21 day close. So, um, you know, you don't have to wonder, okay, cross your fingers, is it going to actually close in 21 days? No, we have that established process. And um, with average turn times in the industry, the average is 47 days to close a uh, purchase contract. Um, so 21 days is really something exceptional. Yeah. Or, and for someone who really wants to cash out of their property, a seller who wants to cash out quickly, it's a great program. And it gives a buyer a little extra mm -hmm. uh, value and power to their offer. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it oh, helps absolutely. the buyer, buyer get the property that they want. Mm -hmm. well, one of the things we like to ask all, ask all of our guests are the things that you do in the community and for the community as we wrap up. Yeah, so um, some of the things that I do in the community is I have volunteered at my children's school. Um, I also volunteered for REACH this past year. And um, I just kind of like to help out where I'm needed, too. Recently volunteered for uh, the real estate community. We uh, served a what I yeah. thought was a really nice breakfast. It really that was, was good. It yeah. was good. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. I still remember it. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, and my thank pleasure. You for our viewers, if you'd like to reach out to Karen, you can get in touch with her here locally at 707 363 3689, or you can see her email address there, karen.mansfield at myccmortgage.com. See, I wanted to make mention real quick that you had two plates of that breakfast. That's how that, that, good it we're was. Gonna, we're going to cut that part out. <laughs> Maybe even three. <laughs> no, no. It's all fruit. It was all fruit. That's what I ate. Fruit laced with bacon. Well, all that right. sounds like a great combo, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm in trouble with my dietitian wife. So, moving right along, we're going to come back with Desi, yeah. and we're going to have right. the real estate market update. Hi, I'm Desi Kapaz, and this is a Napa market update. And today we're going to talk about the sold list percentage uh, number that you uh, see occasionally. It's not a real popular number, but uh, it's pretty easy to concept. And what it is is that uh, you have a list price, and then what it sells for that percentage of of the sold price. So uh, basically 100% is what you're seeing from last month, but those it, that's in the range of $300,000 to $800,000 homes, okay? So obviously it's a hot market. Uh, sellers are getting their full price. That's basically what this number is telling you. And uh, we continue, uh, I continue to talk about this each month about selling your home, and it is, it's, it's important if you're on the fence. We need more homes on the market. So sellers, just keep in mind that the list price of what you want is more likely, if it's in the market range, you will get 100% of that money. Um, if you have any questions or would like for me to talk to you about selling your home, uh, please give me a call at 707-260-9906, or you can always look on my website at unlocknapavalley.com. Enjoy the Napa Valley life. All right. Hey, that was a, that's really interesting statistic. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that, I should say stat. Yeah. It's an interesting stat. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. Well, uh, it looks like it's, it was such a hot show and, and it was such a great show that yeah. uh, Lee is ready to go home, take um, off his jacket. I'm, I'm, I'm already in wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's like when we're ready for a segment, we got to yell out, hey, Lee, and he's in the green room usually sipping on a Bloody Mary yeah. or something. Well, it's know. pretty plush in there. <laughs> Just kidding. Get the palm from. There you go. Only red and green M&Ms. There you go. You know, only red and green. It's in my writer. That's, yep. So, thank you for joining us today. We had a good time. Yeah, Hope we you did. enjoyed the show, and we will see you next month. On All Things Napa. Some days are better than other days. But these days, life is better with you. Some days are better than other days. I'll give you all that you need with my heart and my hands saying please baby please because nobody does that thing you do better than you and thoughts to swim around in my head